I represent the Labour Party here and I know that there are my Labour colleagues here and I'm proud to stand with you but I know there are people here from the trade unionists of all politics and from community groups uh, of, all, of all politics uh, and I want to say this about how we will win this campaign to affect the cuts. I accept that my party made mistakes in the past, right? I'm not going to stand here and say otherwise but I'm not going to say or apologise that somehow we spent too much money on public services. We didn't, and these cuts are too far, and they are too fast. Yeah. 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 And I say to the people who are not part of the Labour Party here today, we want to be with you, and we want to stand with you too. The way we will, we will win this campaign is making this not just a party political fight against the cuts, but a fight of the community and a social movement against the cuts. So those who are saving the parks, those from the faith communities that are here, and everyone else, we respect your views, we know you don't always agree with us, but we stand with you, and together we will win this campaign. Thank you. He earned £10 million this week, apparently. He earned that money. That money was stolen off of working people in the same week Lord Hutton, Labour Lord Hutton, told us we're not, we can't have our pensions anymore and they've got to be 20% lower than they were. Let's be clear about this. Pensions are deferred wages. They are stealing money off of working class people. That's what this government's doing. This Lib Dem conser Conservative government is ripping off working people. They are privatising our services and they are not, have not got a mandate to do that. They were not voted to do that. If they stood on a mandate of privatising everything that moved, giving all the money to the bankers, taking away your pensions, no one would vote for them.